Hey guys, quite some time ago I made a little guide video on how to get better at Airsoft. This video from the past included a few key tips and suggestions on ways to improve or build upon a player's skill set, such as communication, tactics, movement, hesitation, optics, camouflage, and lastly, what type of role one would want to fill out there on the field. Of course, in this video, I won't be sharing those topics again since I already talked about them in depth in the previous video. If you're a new player or you think you might learn something new, I do suggest you check out that video. In this video, I've got six more tips on how to get better at Airsoft. All right, let's jump right into tip number one. Rings of garlic, holy water, silver steak. Here's something new. Glycerin, 48. Sorry! Sorry! Look, I think one of the biggest factors on what makes Airsoft so cool is that players can express themselves freely through their gear. For regular games, there's no rules on what color you have to wear or what platform of airsoft gun you have to use. Honestly, I think it's great that you can just frolic around in a giant teddy bear costume if that's what you wish to do. Just be aware, you're gonna get shot a lot. However, optimizing your loadout, ammunition count, or just allowing yourself the molly real estate on your vest or chest rig can be the difference between a good time and a bad time. Gonna have a bad time. So where's the part where we have a good time? Hey, little dude, you got some crap right here. Well, that's my face, sir. Think about the gear you're buying. Will that vest you want provide the space you need for four to six mags? Do you find yourself crawling around a lot? Should you invest in knee pads or pants with built-in knee pads in order to satisfy your playstyle? If you can optimize your gear, not just to hold more ammo, or the right amount of ammo, but also to remain comfortable during combat, which will make you more efficient. Imagine not needing to focus on how sore your knees are or how your vest is bouncing up and down too loosely whenever you're at a light jogging speed. The less things making you uncomfortable, both physically and as a result mentally, the more you can focus on the objective or your targets. This also has to do with experience, and you have to think about how you can optimize your personal loadout in order to give you that little advantage in areas you struggled in the past. I'll give you an example. For the longest time, I never had a grenade on my kit. Now, I always have at least just my one Springer grenade located on the right hand side of my vest. Sometimes I'm approaching an enemy bunker, or CQB action is about to go down. Hell, I've even thrown my Springer grenade outside of my window to stop enemies from getting too close to throw theirs in first. Clearly, this addition to my kit has proved useful. I feel like I've upped my game ever since I've attached a grenade to my vest. Yeah, I'm not invincible because I have a $20 Springer grenade on me, but I've improved my kit, and I'm more prepared for different bite-sized conflicts I may encounter. And look, let's not deny that my loadout is a bit uncanny, or not quite as milsim compared to others. I mean, just recently I found a way to mount two mag pouches just behind my shoulders of all places, which believe it or not, are pretty easy to reach and are strangely kind of faster than grabbing mags for my tum tum area. I found a way to improve my kit for me, and all you need to do is be mindful of how to improve your kit and make yourself more effective while of course, still maintaining that cool factor. That is quite literally half of Airsoft after all. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. Let's say you drain your biceps, blood is rushing into your muscles and that's what we call the pump. And it feels different, it feels fantastic. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. 
And so can you believe how much I am in heaven? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people. I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> You do not need to be ridiculously fit or really, really, really ridiculously good looking in order to be better at airsoft. I play alongside absolutely every single shape, size, height, age, and blood sugar level of person out at airsoft. I think the real question or goal one should answer or seek for themselves when it comes to fitness and airsoft is what level of fitness is required of me to perform at the level I deem satisfying or contributive to my team. Not everyone needs to sprint full throttle to the objective while carrying 30 pounds of gear. Staying or becoming healthy is great, but let's not forget airsoft is literally the only form of exercise some people are able to get in a busy week of work and family related priorities. To get better at airsoft, you need to consider or establish the physical limits you want to engage your body in. Sure, it's great to push yourself for a little conditioning, but don't forget that airsoft guns can also shoot quite far. Wait a sec, maybe that's why I'm always catching those filthy, gillied up, camping, bushwookie snipers hiding in the back, stuffing their mouths with Twinkies and beef jerky. No, what was I doing? Wake up, stupid! Wake up! No! You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. No! There's a chance you don't quite know what exactly I mean by safety, but after I explain, I think every single airsofter watching this video will probably agree with what I'm talking about. Becoming a better player isn't just about winning more games or improving your KD. It's not just about field or map knowledge either. In fact, I would argue that one of the most important aspects of a great player is their knowledge on gun safety. If you want to become a better player, it is paramount that you show proper firearm safety procedures. Airsoft guns, although just toys, are still capable of causing some degree of bodily harm up close. Are you even aware of what FPS or joules your gun currently shoots at? When's the last time you chronoed? Are you able to answer these questions if someone, let's say a referee, walked up to you right now? Can you, at the very least, with confidence, give a ballpark answer? Are you consciously avoiding flagging your teammates with the shooty end of your gun? Do you walk around with the finger physically placed on your trigger, even if you're not mentally prepared to shoot? Do you possess a proper barrel cover? or? Did you just seriously put your fingerless glove on top of your barrel? Looking professional and acting professional are two very, very different things. Knowing the rules of your local airsoft field is one thing, but setting an example even by just casually or subconsciously training yourself to keep your airsoft gun at low or high ready rather than pointing your barrel wherever you're looking with your eyes is such a huge visual difference around other players. Don't get me wrong, these are just toys and airsoft will always be full of memes and funny jokes. But when it's go time, when the game is on and when everyone is quite literally in the mood to strategize or just get serious, read the room. 10 out of 10 times, I'd rather squat up or listen to the teammate with his airsoft gun at low ready than the edgelord with his strobe light on, jumping up and down, flagging his teammates with his gun, making elephant noises. I would love to record that though. Great content. Thank you.
So this tip is a little difficult, maybe even downright scary for some. Being new to airsoft is one thing, but building the confidence to take apart your airsoft gun is another. It's not required that you should need to take your gearbox apart, in fact, that actually voids the warranty for pretty much every airsoft gun out there. However, aside from building that confidence to get to the gearbox and upgrade parts to an AEG, you have no idea how important it is that you need to require the confidence to at the very least be able to take your hop-up assembly apart. Every airsoft gun's inner barrel gets dirty after a while, or Maybe you want to upgrade your M4's hop-up and replace the bucking. Maybe you want to try a flat hop or just take the thing apart and put it back together because sometimes that's all it takes to fix the problem. Dang, if only there existed a place one could go to watch, like some sort of instructional video on, I don't know, how to take apart an airsoft gun. Oh. Oh, oh wait, there is. Come on now, don't be that guy that has the super expensive, fancy, red accented M4 with that edgy lower receiver. You know, the one with the skull on it, but literally has no idea how to adjust their hop up. If you want to get better at airsoft, know your gun, inside and out. All right, say it with me, inside and out. Uh, excuse me. Could I maybe get that headset, please? Do not raise your voice to me, sir. I wasn't raising my voice. Okay, just calm down. I am calm. I just want my headset. Sir, our country is going through a very difficult time right now, and if you're not going to cooperate... I don't know where a headset ties into patriotism. Is there a problem here, sir? I, I don't think so. Can you come to the back of the plane with me so we can have a talk? Talk about what? There's not a problem. This the steward is just keeps flight me. attendant. Of course. The flight attendant keeps ignoring me when I ask. Calm him. down. I am calm. What is it with you people? You people. Oh, now wait wrong. a minute. I don't mean you people. I mean you people. Sir, I will not tolerate any racist behavior on the plane. This is a very difficult time for our country. I, I know that. I'm not a racist. I just want to watch the movie. I'm only going to say this one more time, sir. Calm down. I'll come! <laughs> all right, gamers. I'm about to drop some straight up science on all of y'all. Whenever you get tilted, does that allow the neurons to flow to the MLG part of the brain? You know, that spot located right in between the temporal and occipital lobes. I'd wager that getting angry and shouty towards enemy and friendly players totally throws you off your game. Plus, you start to feel that warm feeling, like your body temperature is just rising and then your back gets all moist. Yeah, yeah, yeah you shot a dude from 150 feet away with an unmagnified red dot and you're totally super duper positive you got him. Right, well be sure to yell extra loud, point your finger, stomp your feet, twist your left nipple extra hard, and spin around three times. Do all of this, exert all that energy that you totally don't need and you totally won't lose focus. Get heated and forget you left your zipper open because during lunch break you took a fat sh Wait a minute. Let me learn you something. The calm player can better focus on important things, where the objective is, where the enemy player is, and that it's their turn to pick up their child from daycare today. Meanwhile, the angry player is too busy thinking about that totally obvious cheater 200 feet away. Their fly is open, and little Timmy is getting cold mac and cheese tonight. Better players keep their composure. Composed players are more approachable. Approachable people become better learners and better teachers. If you stay calm and focus on the game, you exert less energy. You breathe more calmly. You stop seeing so much red and start seeing more green. Wait, no, that's just another filthy camping bushwicky sniper. <clears throat> Sorry. The same approach goes for toxicity as well. Nobody likes toxic players, because nobody likes to be bullied or put down. 
unless that's your kink, I guess. Especially at their happy place. Again, unless that's your kink. Airsoft is my happy place, not my kink, just my happy place. And I will not tolerate any bullying whatsoever. If you want to get better at airsoft, it starts with attitude, all jokes aside. So calm the f down and be nice to each other. Again, unless that's your kink. Guess I really blew it this time. We're finished in this town. So much for being a hero. Oh, thanks, but it's no use. I'm a whorl. Cursed. Bottom of the gene pool. No money down. Nothing to live for. Yow! <laughs> oh. oh. Thanks. I needed that. You're right. I've never been a quitter. Why? I've never known when to quit. Just ask my fourth grade teacher. He never knew when to quit. Oh. Spoken like a true American hero, Ernest. Literally every single tidbit of advice I've given in either this video, my previous video, or any video won't matter if you don't put in the effort or willpower to improve. Some of these tips are cognitive, while others are more literal, tactical. Either way, they all require practice. They all require some form of self-discipline, and you know what? Pretty much you're gonna get shot either way, but I'm also pretty sure there are zero examples of somebody going to Airsoft for the first time ever and just having every single physical, mental, and tactical advantage known to Cthulhu at their fingertips. Or tentacles, right out the gate. It takes a long while to develop proper game sense composure, and skills that can contribute to their fullest potential in team play. Every player will have their strengths and weaknesses. Master what you know you're capable of and set an example for those still coming out of their mold. Use the power of self-awareness to iron out the details, and although it might sound cheesy, just don't give up. If you love Airsoft and focus on improving your game, the less experienced player you are now has got no chance against the player you will become. Guess off air. 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 With all the force of a great typhoon. Guess off air. With all the strength of a raging fire.